The trace only method of registration uses data points to recognize the position of the patient tracker. You start by verifying the registration probe. You'll hear a quick chime when it's verified. It will also appear on the bottom right hand of the screen. To verify the registration probe, you will want to insert this tip into the divot of the patient tracker perpendicular. You'll hear that quick chime and it'll also pop up on the bottom of the screen here and say registration probe. Before I begin registering, I recommend viewing the image to the left hand side of the screen and it tells you kind of a recommended tracing pattern to follow. So it takes you all the way back to the uh, back by the ears, up the forehead and all the way down the bridge of the nose to the tip of the nose. It also points out to avoid areas on the cheek. So I'll begin registering. It prompts you of first step and second step to follow as well. So first step, you'll want to touch the skin and you'll want to hold the position for two seconds. By touching, they mean light touch. After you hear a quick beep, you'll want to trace lightly on the stable skin. And then from that point on, you'll reach minimum trace and then you can continue tracing. So I'll demonstrate now. So you can hold the registration probe for two seconds. You want to get those points all the way back by the ear, up on the forehead. That quick chime meant that I reached minimum trace and then all the way down the bridge of the nose. Once you reach that minimum trace, you can continue collecting points. And then once you're done, you can press and hold the skin for two seconds. Uh, a lot of people like to lift the probe out of the field. Hold that to the skin until you hear that last chime. Um, the screen will also stop lighting up as white. So as you can see here, you have the three different views. You have coronal, sagittal, and axial, and you also have a green. And if you zoom in, you can also see kind of a faint yellow line on the outside. What those circles mean is green is at or below one millimeter of accuracy and anything inside the yellow circle is at or below two millimeters of accuracy. Ideally, what you would like is that green circle in any of the anatomy that you're operating in.